On this channel, we have spoken about the Dangote Fell issue on two episodes, Here and Here. And the last we heard of it was when there was the debate on whether Dangote would sell to NNPC and NNPC would be the sole distributor of the Dangote Frio. At that time, the price was also at its highest and people were holding out hope that once Dangote Fell became available, prices might reduce. Well... Here is what VDM had to say about it. All right, so Dangote don't shock Unabi. Now, let me explain something. So, currently, Dangote fuel will be sold at 1,019 Naira in Boronu, 999 Naira in, in Kaduna, 992 Naira in Abuja, 980 in Rivers, 916 in Oyo, 950 in Lagos. NNPC reviews. Now, uh, initially, you people thought. He was the messiah now if you remember i posted a video recently i said me i have documents but i can't post those documents right because i know what i saw in what i saw do you understand it is not in my place but let me tell you the first problem that the messiah had with uh nmpc you know why i call why i'm calling him the messiah because a lot of you actually thought that it was the one that will come and rescue us it's refinery we turned for a price to 300 naira. do you understand i was in that position too until i saw what i saw i was like wait a minute this man and the messiah at the end of the day this man is trying to actually make more money for himself because he is not the messiah now based on what i saw when Messiah was building refinery, they allegedly gave Messiah crude. Messiah requested that, okay, you people will give me crude, free crude. Let me test my refinery. Since I'm doing it, I need crude to test the refinery to be sure of the kind of product I will be giving Nigerians. The president then signed that, okay, yes, you people should give him crude oil in order to test his refinery. Since this is the benefit for all of us in nigeria right when they gave the messiah crude do you know what messiah allegedly used the crude to do messiah allegedly exported those crude outside and made more money for himself that's what the messiah did he exported everything he made more money there a lot and NPC found out that way too. The crude where they give you, you are supposed to use it here in Nigeria. Why are you exporting it outside and refining and refining it and making more money? Bring it back and make more money. Why? It became a problem. Messiah came out and started dropping one or two secrets. Nigerians start to jump. They say, ah, Nigerians. Da, 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 but you know people like me that have seen something and you know this country now we don't learn from the likes of pido you understand you see this country now when you don't drop all the things that you need to drop for this mumu, mumu nigerians whether you could come stand for your bag they will start to decuss you yeah that very dark man you do too much and all that you understand so very dark man has seen what very dark man has seen i come on her, i'm gonna say wait here i don't see for this matter for a price will go down but people don't understand do you understand? Do you understand? So at the end of the day, Messiah is actually the king of monopolizing. Just the way they got rid of, allegedly, got rid of Iberto cement based on Messiah Paro. Just the way they were trying to get rid of Bois based on Messiah Paro. Do you understand? A lot of things in this country now, only Messiah wants to have it. That is a problem. Do you understand? Now, the full oil. They don't carry and give Messiah now. That being said, you know, we say NPC better or NPC no better. Do you understand? But they would have made the other refineries work. The other two refineries, apart from Kaduna Refinery, they would have made them work because Kaduna refinery is for trade by butter. You understand? That one is not to refine our type of fuel. It's for trade by butter. The other refineries is to refine our fuel. So why didn't they make it work? Sit down and think. Do you understand? Hmm?
And again, this way where you see so, no, we say, you know, if you go down, if you know the cabal is where food the matter, I said, Tinubu himself cannot do anything. If Tinubu decides to bring the fair price today, they will fight him. They will rather burn the country down. Yes, now. They will rather burn the country down. Do you know what it means? Say the people where they make 100, 100 billion every week. They will come stop to the make 100, 100 billion. They will come they give them a, a, a 100, 100 million Naira. Hey, come on, man. They won't take it. So the advice I have to President Bola and Etinobu, since they will fight, they will fight you. Since they will fight you, create electricity for Nigerians. Frustrate the demand of oil. Frustrate the demand of oil, President Bola and Etinobu. Create lights. Put light in every rural area so that they will stop buying fuel in generators. People are now bringing in electric cars. It will encourage electric car usage in Nigeria. Create power. Live there with this fuel thing. It is deep. The fuel thing is very deep. Nigerians, you people don't know. But it is very deep. I can't say anything. I can't. I can't say more than this. Yeah? But yes, President Bola met in Ubu, yeah. You can't do anything. You can't. You are the president, but they will, they will like, they go finish you. <laughs> they go finish your region. They go scatter this country that may you touch this for a price when they go up like this. Eh? You won't go affect dollar. Who you are you? Yes, now, President, who are you? President, who are you? Create power and frustrate the usage and demand of fuel. Give Nigeria 24 hours power. Give Nigeria 24 hours electricity. That time, even if the fuel price is 2,000 Naira per litre, but the demand would have reduced drastically. That before somebody buy fuel, the person would not say, okay, what do I even need this fuel for? Where am I even going to? A lot of electric cars will enter this country. Electric bikes, electric keke. Then, what do we need fuel for? Then we will only be exporting those fuels. We will not be using it in Nigeria. We will just be exporting crude and be making money. Create electricity, President Bola Ahmed Tinubu. Create 24 hours power in the whole of Nigeria. And watch how your government will be. Thank you very much. Don't play. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. And if you haven't subscribed, I'm bringing you all these updates about VDM. I'm sure that these are exciting times for Nigeria. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. And remember to pray for VDM.